Halloween is approaching, so today we're going to be reviewing those awesome Five Nights at Freddy's Curse of Dreadmare Articulated Figures! Oh, look at Foxy! Oh yeah, he's all ready for Halloween! Ooh, Grim Foxy! <laughs> yep, that's right, Zombie Steve, and not only do we have Grim Foxy, but we've got all the figures from the lineup! Oh man, they put it right in front of my face! <laughs> oh yeah! All right, guys, I know we've been waiting a long time for these, the Curse of Dreadbear action figures. Oh, I'm so excited because we already reviewed the plushies a couple weeks ago, and now, well, we've got the articulate figures coming at you, which is amazing. I just love what Funko's doing lately because, well, we've gotten Christmas characters, Easter characters, and now Halloween, oh, which is my favorite of them all. Oh, so let's go ahead and check out the Halloween version of Freddy, which is good old Dreadbear. I love the packaging, <laughs> pumpkins all over it to bring in that awesome holiday season. So as you can see, there's four on the back. And let's open up all right there, come on! Ah, right, cool, and oh, does he look great? I oh, just love the color of green they put all over this guy. So yeah, he's like a Frankenstein-esque type dreadfully dread bear. Wow, they're stitching on his ear, stitching on his hat. We've got neck bolts on both sides of his mouth there. That's pretty cool, the hinge joint. Neat, I wish the hat mouth hinged as well, but nope, doesn't. And if we look at the torso there, ah, oh, even more awesome details. Check that out, more stitching. We got the cool bow tie. I just love this, look at his body. We can see right into it. Wow, those animatronic parts, so yeah, something's definitely rotted away on this guy. Then if we look at the arms here, check that out. Oh, we got the cool claw. He's gonna claw and get you. And oh, it's kind of weird. Oh, look at that. Oh man, the hinge joint is backwards. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. Because <laughs> he's a Frankenstein character or what, but uh, yeah, hinges the wrong way. I like what they did here. Look at those feet. <laughs> oh man, it looks like big old animatronic stubborn feet. Boom, 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 boom. It's like, oh, I'm coming for you. Oh, Frankenstein. <laughs> I love it. If we compare him to the regular Freddy here, boy, we see that he's come a long way. Cause that dread bear is oh simply dreadful. I'll say, but I just love Frankenstein characters. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. Oh, I know. Oh, you're getting me in the mood for some cereal. Oh, let's go get some Frankenberry. Oh, that sounds good. Come on, let's go. Oh man, come on! I want some Frankenberry too. Oh, I love Frankenberry. Oh, brother, before the show gets any weirder, let's check out the next figure here of Grim Foxy. Everyone's getting this crazy fox out of the packaging. Wow, does he look cool or what? Oh, I just love how his body's translucent there. And even the head is translucent. Ha <laughs> puppet bonus. So that's pretty cool. Look at all the details on this guy. And the good thing about Grim Foxy here is that he's the only character to uh, cross over to the McFarland Toys line. But uh, looks like Grim Foxy is the awesomest. Check it out. Oh, I just love the animatronic ears on top of his head. He's got the uh, eye patch on one eye, and the other one's all glowing like a jack o lantern. That's pretty cool. It's reminiscent of all the uh, Jacko, Bonnie Jacko, Chica characters. So that's neat as well. We've got the open mouth there. So cool. Like I said, his head's translucent. So we can actually shine a light through his head and uh, <laughs> see from the other side. Oh, look at me. Oh, so cool. Jack o lantern. Foxy coming at ya. I just love this, look at this. Oh, this is really cool. Got two uh, spikes coming out of his shoulder plates there. Oh, that's very grim. <laughs> and then if we look at his arms, we see that they're all tattered and torn with the big old claws, where the other one has, ooh, a big old sickle. Look at that, ooh, I'm gonna get ya. Looks like that torso is rotted away. We can see right into his endoskeleton there, just like Dreadbear. Ooh, check that out, both rotten away there. Oh, hey, Dreadbear. Hey, do you think there's any freaking berry left? I want some of that. Oh, sorry there, good Foxy. I think we ate it all. Oh, Doc, got it. I want some Frankenberry. This stuff is really good. Oh, hey, guys. I don't have Frankenberry, but I do have some cow chocula. Cow chocula? Oh, man, I love chocolate. It's even better. Oh, yes, I know. Let's go get some. Oh, all right, cool. I love that. Oh, I want some, too. Oh, man, chocolate's so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, brother, it looks like everybody's making a cereal run today. All right, next up we have Jacko Bonnie. I just love this character because, well, it's just like the Jacko Chica that we got a couple years ago. So let's open up this character. Uh, and out of the package, bam, bam. Oh, we got our Jacko Lantern Bonnie coming at you. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, I just love 
what's going on with this head here. So look at that, we've got one eye that looks like a jack-o'-lantern and then the second eye that wraps around this part of the body here. Wow, making a yellow plate underneath on top of the translucent one. Really neat, and just like with Foxy, bringing this light and, oh, look at that, yeah! He's jack-o'-lanterning up in this cool holiday season. Oh, boy, that isn't scary at all. So let's see, we can also light up his torso because that's clear as well. So look at the cool stuff going on with this torso. We can see right Nintendo skeleton as well. That big old thing right there looks like a uh, pop can opener. Poop! <laughs> oh, that's fun. And I like this because look at that. Even both of them are different. This one has all the skin intact where this one, it doesn't. Wow, the skin's kind of torn away right there. Gotta love that and down below. Yeah, we get the same thing. Oh, look at this. The skin's intact, the skin's torn away. So yeah, I just love that attention to detail. And you know what else I would love? A bowl of Count Chocula! Hey, you guys got any more over there or what? Oh, sorry, we ate it all. <laughs> that was so good. Ah, don't worry. We have some blueberry if you want some. Blueberry's so good with the blueberry goodness. Oh, yeah, I love blueberry. Let's go get some. All right, come follow me. <laughs> yeah! All right, now the last figure we have here is good old Glitch Chap. And if you're wondering why we didn't get old Jacko Chica to round out the characters with Jacko Bonnie, well, it's because, well, they released this guy a couple years ago as an exclusive to GameStop. And what a great looking character this is. Now the body here isn't as translucent as the new Jacko Bonnie, so yeah, I'm surprised they didn't want to update this Jacko Chica character. Oh man, this also comes with a pumpkin too? Puppet bonus? Oh, I love it. And if we put both these characters side by side to each other for a comparison, look at that. Oh man, this is a great team up of Jacko Chica and Jacko Bonnie coming at you for this review. All right, so I'm so excited because oh, we have our last character of Glitch Trap. And this is awesome because this is about probably the closest version of William after we can get in action figure articulated form. So let's open up all Glitchy here. And here we have oh, the cool old Glitch Trap. And it's kind of weird because this is the only way to get Glitch Trap. They never made them in the McFarlane Toys version or the plushies or anything like that. And yeah, so he looks pretty cool. He's got the uh, mousy look to him. <laughs> I gotta love that. Pretty cool. We get that blank expression. Oh, the uh, William Afton is known for. Hey, look at me. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. And we got the uh, ears. Then we got the purple bow tie up front with the suit jacket. This purpley suit jacket all the way around the back, wrapping around this cool with the buttons. And yeah, his feet look pretty cool too. And it's a shame that they even made this guy into a uh, mystery mini yet either. Hey guys, is there any cereal left? I'm getting pretty darn hungry here. Wait a minute, you're William Afton. We're not giving you any cereal. Yeah, you're a bad guy. We don't like you. Yeah, you could just go find your own cereal. What? How dare you? I'm a Shakespearean actor in a rabbit outfit. Ugh, I don't have to take this. I'm out of here. All right, guys, now that all the packages are open, there they are. Ooh, all together, all four figures from this Curse of Dread Bear lineup. And I gotta say, these figures are gonna make it one awesome Halloween this year. So now if you want these characters for your very own, we'll make sure you start checking out GameStops right now because that's where I've been able to find mine. And you can probably find them at Targets. I'm not sure, maybe Walmarts as well. So keep your eyes peeled, kids. They're hitting store shelves now. Oh, I just love this Curse of Dread Bear lineup. It is puppet-tastic.